Sie auch ein Kot nehmen. Pur, wir nehmen. Pur, wir nehmen. What do you do there, Hunt? I fucking have an AR-15 and I hunt. I take down 30 or 40 deer at a time. Some I just watch die. I'll hit them in the back of their... I'll look them in the eyes and go, Idaho, you do, motherfucker. Damn. What do you think about that? Put six point up? Man, Spokane. Spokane, you're homeless or a different type of outdoorsy. <laughs> homeless. So a guy we've been in Patagonia to pick you up. Ah, 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 ah. He's past some other homeless guys like, are we still on for hiking at three or what? I got a new trail, I got a new trail. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Dear God. You guys have just got some weird. Most of them have a soundtrack. Have you noticed that? Can somebody explain that? Why every third homeless guy has a speaker and he's just jamming out as he doesn't own property. He's just fucking enjoying the fucking weather. You know what I mean? Dressed in three coats in summer. I don't fucking, yeah. Listen to R. Kelly. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Who cares? Who cares? I'm homeless. I'll listen to what I want to listen to. I can separate the artist from the fucking music, okay? <laughs> homeless in Spokane, goddammit! Cordelaine <laughs> homeless. Zamoa refined. So a homeless person in Cordelaine and he was playing the harp. He was asking for francs. <laughs> And they went, how are Franks? Good to live. It's such a silly, it's such a silly thing. I really want to go though. I'm serious, somebody asked me, have you been to Coeur d'Alene? I said, no, not yet. Like, oh my God. They were astonished. It was upsetting. They were upset. Oh, thanks, dude. Give a round of applause here on Wednesday. Fruit shit out of here. It's fucking Spokane, you don't serve me fruit again. Killed the land. She was like, oh my god, you haven't? And I said, no, I want to go. She's like, the lake's amazing, it's beautiful. And people have been talking it up, you know? One of some guy was like, it's actually a really big city. We have like 50,000 people. I didn't say anything, I just went. <laughs> For sure. It's fun, it's beautiful. I, I looked at pictures, I'm excited. I'm gonna go. If I was staying extra day, I'd go tomorrow. Right? Who here's from Coeur d'Alene? Yeah. See, if I was here next day, I'd drive home with you tonight. Get in the back of your car. What'd you come in? Truck? Truck full of potatoes? You have a bed of potatoes? They're always carrying a bed of potatoes. In their trucks and cured it in. <laughs> so funny today. We went to Carhartt. You guys got quite a Carhartt. This is Carhartt shit. You guys do Carhartt shit in Spokane. You, get, you do it. Everybody here hunts. Everyone. Right? You guys are. You're fu this is fucking outdoors. You're creative by nature. You're, you're, you're nature adjacent. You're always in nature. It is amazing here. You feel bad when you're inside when it stays like this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You just want to be outside and every moment that you're not outside, you're like, God, what the fuck is going on? How did I get trapped in this situation? I'm a slave, a slave to the dollar. <laughs> so I go out there. We discovered today what I think is really funny, which is that, um, and then I'll finish my observation about the homeless. Uh, just let me rip my way back to it. Uh, it, was, <laughs> it was really funny because for the first time, 
We found out that you guys sort of have this bubbling. Everyone's cool here. I love everyone from Spokane. It's one of my favorite cities that I tour to. I get along with every single Spokanite that I come across. Are you one? Yeah, I get along with you. I like it. You're not a real knee slapper when it comes to laughing. You sort of sitting. You can tell that a person maybe is going to be knee slapper when you're sitting and you have your hands like this during a comedy show. I'm talking about you, see? We all know where his interests lie. <laughs> Along with all of you, but I found out today that there's sort of a bubbling, seething underbelly running through everyone that's kind of, how do I, how do I describe it? We saw this guy today, and he, his wife recognized me as the corner, and we started talking to him. And he's like, Spokane's yeah, pretty cool, right, man? And I was like, yeah, it's awesome. He's like, it's kind of a gem, you know what I mean? It's kind of a hidden gem. People don't realize it's like a big city, small town feel, you know what I mean? But we got like half a million people, you know, so it's like, but it's great, you got the outdoors. It's like, how'd you, how'd you find out about this coffee place? Somebody tell you to go here? And I was like, no, no, we just kind of stumbled. Oh, this is the best coffee. This is the best coffee in the pack Northwest, I think. You're gonna love it, dude. Bring some home. Take some home to your girl. I'm telling you, man, you love this stuff. It's gonna be great. And I was like, cool, man, thanks. It's like, yeah, we've got a great music scene, great comedy scene, you know, you're really gonna love the audiences here, man. And I was like, thank you so much. Like, a lot of people think about Washington State. Can you tell that by this time I wanted to leave? Can you tell them? Can you see that I was done talking about Spokane and he seemed like, I was kind of like, well, tell me more. I never said that, I didn't say that. I didn't imply that. I, at no point did I just look at him and go, Do that. It's like, you know, people, people, people think about Washington State, you know, and they just think about Seattle, you know what I mean? But I don't get them. I, ugh, you know what I mean? And then I'm like, okay, because I don't really like Seattle either at all, you know? Uh, but he's like, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't care about Seattle. You know, I don't like it. It gets a little masky, masky, jabby, jabby, you know, for me. We're closer to Idaho. We more freedom over here, you know what I mean, man? Do you see what I'm saying, dude? Are you fucking vaccinated, bro? Tell me right now. just right there bubbling and right then and there I was like all right cool man I'll see you later I don't want to be involved in this energy at all and then he's like yo 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 can I get a picture and I was like yeah but you can take it from over there dude <laughs> I can take it right there oh man it's so funny I just love that it's like underneath you guys are all like but I can't believe he's like, I'm close enough to Idaho to taste the freedom. <laughs> like, he was implying, like, Idaho is truly free. They have all the potatoes, they hold all the chips. <laughs> Literally, they hold all the chips. I can't believe I just thought, I can't believe that. That's amazing. That's a moment where I'm like, did you just make that up? Idaho has the most freedom because they hold all the chips. None of us can snack without them. And they fucking know it, bro. I keep saying bro, I don't know why, I don't like it. I hate people who say bro, I hate it. That is so funny, Jesus God. It was just great though, man. Because even that guy, I like, I'd go shooting with that guy, for sure. You know he's got some illegal shit, you know? Or even he's just like, all right, you want to shoot one where I scrape the serial number off? And I'm like, I don't think so. I'm gonna call a lift. Excel. I deserve it. I shot well today. Oh shit, that's so funny. 
Spokane, you're also just, as a town, you're a functioning alcoholic. Did you guys know that? You're alcoholics. Not drunks, Philadelphia will be like, we're huge drinkers, man, we get fucked up. And like Wisconsin will be like, dude, we drink beer all the time. We're just fucking kicking back beers nonstop. Huge drinking state, man. You guys are like, we have a problem. <laughs> and we choose not to address it, is that clear? Because that is an option, okay? When I'm just standing in front of a group and be like, hey, I'm so-and-so, and listen to my terrible stories, you can also just break shit, black out, and fucking keep on going. You ever thought about that? You ever owned the possibility of that? You can hold down a job, and every month have a couple people be like, dude, you gotta slow down. And then you don't, okay? You, suppose you can Spokane, or you can Spokane not, but either way. We are Spokane do. That's our fucking attitude. So can't do. It's true. Every business, the name of it reminds you that they have alcohol. It's like burgers and brews. We also have brews. Tony's pizza and wine. There's wine in here. Okay. You have an establishment called Soups and Spirits. <laughs> Do you understand that? Do you understand how that looks insane to anyone who doesn't live here? Do you guys understand that? If you don't seem to, you're totally okay with it. No one passes by there and is like, I think that's a problem situation. I think that means that we have a problem here that we're going to like soups, but we know what you're fucking here for, right? So come on in. Daddy can have three martinis and a bisque. And then he has to go home to get up early tomorrow for work. But you can, you can sleep it off. Come on in. We got a fucking mushroom cream soup. <laughs> Try our chowder. $1.50 beers. Get in here. Get in here and get fucked up now. I can't believe you guys think that's okay. Soups and spirits. I mean, you might as well have places called like appetizers and alcohol. I mean, really, seriously. Finger food and fucking Moscow mules by the gallon. This girl up front, I said, and my mask comes out by the gallon, and she goes, Make sure you know I'm in favor of that. Did you hear that? All present? Okay. All present her. Good. They should just give you a fucking milk card jug and fill it with Moscow Mule. Call it 18 bucks and call it a fucking day. I love it here. I really do, it's amazing. It'd be incredible to live here and just have like eight beers at 11 a.m. <laughs> have no one blink an eye. No one, the bartender is never like, I think you've had enough. I think the bartenders here are like, well, you just got ahead of me. Uh, This is my Spokane outfit. Usually I don't wear this. It's only for Spokane. I could be on my way in Spokane. I could be on my way for like a light hike or to a wedding. Where, where I'm the groom, don't mistake. But this is my groom's wear. And all my groomsmen have exactly the same outfit, but in different color plaid shirts. <laughs> they're wearing different Carhartt boots. There you are. You were Calvin, you were you, Calvin Klein in here? Come on, buddy. You bring that shit in here. Yes, you're doing real Calvin Klein shit. Great though. You guys are great. I can't even get to tell you. Oh, you're so funny. 
there's just a look here, you know? There's like a couple of looks, but that's it. It's like this guy. And then like kind of younger, kind of dressed like me without the vest and just like quite a few piercings. Like, have you seen these kids just have like two nose piercings? And I'm like, calm down, man. Pierce, there are other parts of your face, dude. Like you guys. I don't care about karaoke. I don't have a strong opinion about it. Yeah. Some people hate it. Some people, uh, I was talking to this guy about the pandemic, and I was like, the worst was the lockdowns, you know, because I don't know if you guys know, but there are lockdowns across the country. <laughs> there was a little sniffle going around. It was killing elderly people, or as you guys put it, the thinning of the herd. From Washington State, in Eastern Washington State. <laughs> they all have their time, you know, that's... That's the spoken night way. See, spoke no evil, see. <laughs> oh my god. But I was talking about the lockdowns, and I was like, those were the worst. The guy goes, oh, I know, but you couldn't do anything. I mean, you couldn't do karaoke. <laughs> that was the first thing he said. No, like eating out with friends or seeing your family, just couldn't do anything. I mean, couldn't even do karaoke. <laughs> like, I like karaoke, I guess, but at no point, never once during the pandemic did I even stop for a moment to be like, ah, oh, damn this virus! <laughs> All I want to do is be at the brewery every third Wednesday and then my bell not Billy Joel. Don't stop the music, I think is what somebody over here said. Is that true? That is so funny. Just as I did that, nobody heard it, but that guy over there was like, Don't stop the music! <laughs> Don't stop the music! Don't stop believing! Don't stop believing! Okay, I won't. I promise. I won't stop believing. Try and make me. You won't be able to, because neither of us know what I'm going to continue believing in, okay? <laughs> but so then, my, uh, my friends, and by that I mean my wife's friends, wanted to go do karaoke. <laughs> I like doing that one. Because there were guys in the audience who were like, <laughs> don't, don't do that. I like Brad. We would be friends even if our wives weren't friends. I think his fascination with Frisbee golf is cool. <laughs> so he went. The guy just goes, Journey. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll talk after the show. Meet me in the alley. A lot of people in Spokane hang out in the alleys downtown. I've noticed that. You guys also smoke cigarettes. That just isn't happening right now. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you go to city, no one smokes cigarettes. Here, you guys are just puffing away. The Native American casino offers a 100% smoke-free area. And underneath it says, coming soon. We haven't figured it out yet. But trust us. Trust us, it's coming. So there's gonna be a place where the fucking pussies can't smoke, okay? Also have the perfect billboard in Spokane. I'll get back to the karaoke thing, okay? Just listen to me for a second. There's, there's a billboard that is perfectly Spokaneite. It really is. Because you walk towards it, it's like right a couple blocks away. And it's like, no lie, right? Is that a brewery here? Yeah, and that's why I've heard it's pretty good. Beer, I haven't had it. But it's like, no lie. And it's got a bandit on the billboard with a kerchief over his, his bank robber. He's robbing a train soon, you know? <laughs> Give me all your gold, right? <laughs> and then it goes, beer so good, there's a bounty on it. <laughs> oh boy, if I, if I see a beer with a kerchief over it, I'm like, I know who you are. <laughs> but I'm not gonna collect. I would hope you have a drink. Ah! Dead or alive. Drink or alive. 
<laughs> and then you're walking, you're like, okay, beer. Let's beer. Get the beer with the bounty on it. Get get beer. Get this beer. And then as you pass by and you look back on the other side of the billboard, there's a billboard that says, "Can't stop uh, using alcohol alone." <laughs> Call this number. And then beneath it, it goes, hey, we're doing experimental treatment. If you're willing to do it, a lot of you can do it for free. So that's what you're saying. You're like, can you absolutely not stop using alcohol alone? You need help from other people. Well, it's not a rehab place or like, Anything like that. It's not like, come, we'll help you stop drinking. It's like, wait, we got this idea. <laughs> well, we're going to give you a pill, and it'll sort of make you only have seven Paps Blue Ribbons. <laughs> you physically won't be able to have an eighth Paps Blue Ribbon. The pill is killing about 65% of people. That's it. Those are the two sides of Spokane. Two sides the same, spoke coin. Yeah, I didn't like that one either. It was clever, but it wasn't funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm making this all up. Sometimes I'm gonna say something where everyone's like, yeah, come on, man. Can I get a couple shots? Are we at that point, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Lost track of time. Because I'm having so much fun with you guys. We're such an excellent audience. Boy, did you make Friday first show look like fucking garbage. Ooh, that audience was trash. And you can tell them I said so. If you meet somebody in Kyoto then. Like, what did you do this weekend? It's like, oh, I drove in to see TJ Miller. You can go, oh yeah, what show? Uh, first show Friday. I heard you were fucking trash. <laughs> TJ told me to tell you. <laughs> so, uh, there. hi, how are you? <laughs> We've really done this. We've we never talked about this, but introduce yourself to everybody. I'm Hannah. Give it up for Hannah, everybody! <laughs> Hannah with an H! Is it a palindrome? It is. It's a, pal it's a palindrome. I love that. And then, what do you, more importantly, what do you think of this audience? They're fucking awesome. You guys are fucking awesome! <laughs> Give it up for yourself! <laughs> yeah, come on! It's just like. It's just like. Tip a little bit extra because everybody in here tips another five bucks, five dollars. That's no skin off your back. But if everybody tipped another five dollars more, then would that make your uh, week? It would make my month, actually. Give it up for hand, everybody. Come on. Uh, Hannah, can you bring me a hot sauce and a peanut butter? Ha 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 ha. The joke's on you, and you'll see why. Okay. So I went to um, so I went to karaoke and it's totally different now. I hadn't done it in so long. Yeah, we're back. Uh, it's okay. It happens. I mean, HD. Right here, right here. So, so can, thank you. Oh wow! Look at this. What is this? Thank you, Hannah. Is this my own proprietary hot sauce that I sell after the show? Yes. <laughs> Who's laughing now, huh? No, I'm serious. I love hot sauce. Hey, you say, are you kidding me? I'm telling you, don't stop believing, okay? <laughs> Keep believing, buddy. I've got it. I have hot sauce. I have peanut butter, okay? 
So I have three levels of heat. I have Chipotle, which is smoky, okay? Then I have extreme gangster heat. That's for the Calvin Klein motherfucker. You know exactly what you're doing tonight. Bucking. With this hot sauce. And uh, for the pepperheads out there, this one's called fucking intense ghost pepper type shit. It's got my face on the front of me like, fuck shit, yeah! And then, I love peanut butter so much that I have my own line of peanut butter. It's the best peanut butter that you'll ever have in your entire life. I'm telling you. You know why? Because I have three different flavors, okay? Dark chocolate coconut, that's for the ladies. <laughs> cherry chocolate, which is real dried cherries, milk chocolate, and honey roasted peanuts. What? And then my favorite, Toffee Krispie, with toffee, milk chocolate, and Rice Krispies. The guy over there goes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go on, man! Is he serious? Is he fucking serious? Answer me, does he really have that? So if you want, you can buy those after the show. Nobody needs a t-shirt. Nobody needs another t-shirt. There's so many women in this audience who want the man they're with to get rid of t-shirts. It's true. Every girl is like, don't you have too many t-shirts? And it's like, no. And she's like, why don't you just get rid of this one? This one's free. That's why I'm keeping it. Where you're going, mm hmm. You got some weird sort of sass in the room tonight. You know what I mean? And you got this guy going, mm hmm. That guy's like, don't stop believing, baby. Yeah, yeah. Journey? Talk about Journey! You're a wonderful, wonderful audience. I do have to check my watch because I'm having so much fun. I have to decide, was that? It's a fake watch? Sure. Just keep believing, okay? <laughs> You've been such a wonderful problem the whole show. <laughs> I like you, I'm serious. Sometimes there's real, like, heckling issues, you know, with other people. You're really evening out his stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's counterbalancing the lack of enthusiasm and emotional demonstrative nature. It's just kind of being like, don't you believe it, baby? Pretty funny, right? God, do you guys want to stay for the second show? We just kick the two of them out and take two random people from the second audience that's waiting and tell the rest of them, sorry, you're not going to be able to compare. Get out of here. Go back to Kyodole. I do get passionate about seven layer dip, that's true. <laughs> you like seven layer dip? You're into it. No. Even he answered, he just goes. <laughs> Is he a mild mannered individual? Is he always like this? Right. Mild mannered, you get it, buddy. I love a mild mannered man. I love a guy who walks into a party or something and the way he greets people is he's like, Bill, Sarah. <laughs> May I use your restroom? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you better not have any Xanax in there. <laughs> See if you do, I'm stealing that shit. You don't even need Xanax, you're fine. You take a pass, I'm like, you want some Xanax? <laughs> and you're like, no. I'm fine. You must be a trip at the subway. I'd love to go to a subway with that guy. I would love to go to a subway with you. Wheat. 
Say the sentence, man. Fuck Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> you can do it in any way you want. All right, mild manner or otherwise. <laughs> man, fuck Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> <laughs> 